Hey everyone, today I will show you how you can set up a tank for your axolotls and I will tell you something about how to care for them, what to feed them, preferred temperatures and yeah stuff like this. So enjoy the video and if you have any questions left in the end feel free to ask in the comments. As ground layer I will use natural colored quartz sand. Sand is a good ground for axolotls because it won't lead to digestive problems. Gravel can lead to digestive problems, it can get stuck in the digestive tract. In the worst case the axolotl can die of it. There is also some kind of rounded gravel, it's called exo gravel, there are also a few other names for it. And this gravel is completely okay for axolotls too. Also gravel that has a smaller diameter than 3 mm should be fine. This will just pass the digestive tract without causing problems. The plants I use in this tank are some kinds of java fern. Um, this is one species of java fern and I got another this here. And next to java fern I also put in some moss balls and two different species of hornwort. And this is some kind of Valisneria. I hope they will grow in this tank. Not sure if they get enough light in there. And this is called Water Hedge or Red Temple. This is a new plant and I hope it will grow in this tank too. So as hidings I use the three caves and yeah I have a really big one. I used this one before so I know that my two x lotus love to lie in there. They really climb in here at first I didn't think they would, but they really do. Um, yeah, these are two new hidings. This one is an artificial bark, artificial lock. And yeah, you can see it has two entries. So this motor will perfectly fit in here. At least two will fit in here without pop problems. And this one is another artificial cave. There's only one entry in the front, but it is also big enough so that at least one exploder can lie in this cave without problems. Maybe even two. And as the entry is big enough, there shouldn't be any problems with it. This tank has a capacity of about 240 liters and I will keep three axolotls in here. For one or two axolotls a 100 liter tank will be perfectly fine and I think in this tank I could keep around four axolotls without problems. But I don't want to overcrowd it so I will only keep three axolotls in here. When you set up an aquarium for the first time and put in new water, you need to let the water run in for a few weeks. Half of the water I used in this video is the water I took out of the old tank so that my axolotls can just move into their tank again a few hours after renovating their tank.
I use live plants and also different species of snails in all of my aquariums as plants and snails will keep your tank cleaner. Plants will filter the water and use the nutrients to grow while the small aquatic snails work as yeah, some kind of waste collection as they eat dead plant pieces, fruit remains and also the feces and dirt of the axolotls. Axolotls prefer cooler temperatures, so you should ensure that the water temperature is something between 18 and 23 degrees Celsius or in Fahrenheit that would be something from the middle 60s to 73, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright, this is my setup and if you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments.